Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Whatever. I'm here to welcome you to a new installment of the Action Time and In series that is ever growing, ever known. Who is she? In this edition, I am going to start. This is the very beginning, and who better than to start? You got purple, you got blonde, you got dumb, and then to finish it off. If you haven't heard already, big, 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 big news is about to be revealed. Shisui has been confirmed. So, in order to, where is she? Where is she? Really, where is she? <laughs> this is a great start. Great debut. There's got to be a better way to do this. Oh, wait, I'm not invisible. Hold on, wait, I'm going to do it. I'm tripping. That's right. It is time. If you're a long-term follower of mine, you may know. I feel some type of way. There is one thing this game has been sorely lacking. Where is she? There she is. Amamiya Shusui! It is finally time. She was number three. Technically, she should have been playable before Fox Girl took a hold of somebody else's soul and became somebody else. But it's a confirmation. Her weapon, daggers, wrong. A robot. That robot, it was her. It was not Granny. I said this in a community post, but Timon and Gogo -Go had announced Shisui as a character. If I had known that before I made my last video, I wouldn't have put my hat in the ring for Granny. But that's not important. What is important is you see what color her hair is. She's done it. We've broken the mold. It's taken so many girls. Over 20 girls have been in this game. And finally, white hair supremacy has reached the peak and action time in it. It's only downhill from here. But well, what I'm doing in this little installment, it's going to be a short little video that I'm going to go to the wrong options every time. In this installment, she's going to be here soon. There's 25 girls. It took 26 26 girls to finally reach white hair supremacy. Let's go down. She was close. She had purple hair. Almost kind of silver, but not white. But what is this installment? Shisui is confirmed playable. I won't put up the video, but we are going to go and talk about her. Who is Shisui? Who is Shisui? This is Shisui right there. That's most likely going to be an outfit. You know it's going to be an outfit. Very nice. Everybody, this is the greatest moment in the world. Shisui, she has come. That is her. That is her voice. Now, who is Shisui? That is what this whole video is about. Let me allow myself to speak to you and recant the story of Shisui. Taimon in Gosha Academy student, a mysterious girl often seen in the library. Her wave art is a very rare ninja art that materializes the natural aura into a visage of the guardian, which she can manipulate as she sees fit. Whoops. That's it. That was very short. But she's playable. She is the second character who goes from supporter and nothing else to playable. I told you, Saika, open the door, and she's opened the door. Now, this is not to be ignored that they have skipped both clones at this point. There's two logical reasons for that. One, they're not doing clones. Two, they're going to do an event where they do both clones, kind of like with Ingrid and Kirara. I'm thinking that could be it, but that's giving this game a little too much credit. So this is a, a series to get everybody excited, basically, to let you know that she's coming, it's coming, she's here. But just to uh, add a little bit of extra here, she's actually a really good supporter. And I guess uh, another thing I could do is talk about what I hope for her. 
What does she do in the game as a supporter? Can we use that to figure out what she'll do in the game? This is new. I've never done this. Has anybody ever done this? Who cares? But it's the white haired girl. She has to be the debut character for this little segment. I don't know. When HP drops to zero, she restores health. And that's pretty good. And she reduces the damage taken. So I'm thinking, hopefully, Shisui has a very defensively strong character. Now she is a machine character, with this, which this game really needs. And if the clones come out at some point, that's two machine characters that are vastly needed for this game. And then she removes debuffs and gro it stuns groggy opponents. I'm hoping they take whatever this ability is and expand upon it in her character. I want her to have heals. I want her to be able to be a tank. I want her to be the tankiest character in the game. That is what my hope for with Shisui. So, in honor of this moment, oh, let me, before we do that, you can also change her thing, which you can't do if she's locked, which is a very bad thing with this game. They really need to make it so you don't do that because you have to take her off a character or unlock her and then change her. It's annoying. But, I don't, so I don't know what color she would be. It would be interesting if she was one of the first characters to actually be able to switch colors for protect, suppress, all that, but that's probably going too far. Anyway, to experience upon this momentous, momentous, wow, words. On this occasion, we are going to max out Shisui. There's no other way to get Shisui except through. You know what? Maybe I should tell you real quick how you get Shisui. What, what do you do if you want Shisui? And you don't know. But you're like, oh, I want that girl. Well, how do I get that girl? Don't worry, I got your back. So what you gotta do, you go to the store. And this is where you go. You go to the miscellaneous. This is where you get Shisui. This is also where you get Lucky Girl, which I wouldn't mind being having her be playable at some point. But she's SR. We haven't unlocked that level yet. But this is Shisui. You get her here. She's really useful. Blah, blah. You get her. She's great for PvP because she can bring you back to life. She's great for hard events because she can bring you to life. If you have three Shisuis, you're probably undefeated. The only other thing to really get in there is the weapon skins, which is they're, they're strong weapons, but they're very expensive. She's not as expensive as those weapons, but she's, actually, she's still pretty expensive. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go back to this. In the momentous occasion, we're going to max her out. I would have four here, but I missed a battle pass. So now she's going to go to 43. She went from 37 to 43. We're going to go ahead and do that. I usually just save these for limited supporters, but she so we deserves it. And finally, 50% drops. Get that health to 50%. You're practically invulnerable. Let's go. Done. She's not very good as a blue unit, so I don't know why I have her blue. I probably should have made her green. She's probably more useful there. But that is the video. Say goodbye to these girls. One of them is useful. Other one is close to white hair. Another one is useless. And you can decide who is who. Everybody, say goodbye. There's only two machine girls in this game, so I can't have a machine theme. But next time you see this screen, you may see three robot girls in the scene. I'm out. This is the end. But not goodbye. Till Shisui comes. Till the next character. Ina's excited. Are you?